Good afternoon. My name is Bill Fisher. I serve as Executive Director for EAA Warbirds of America. I've uh, worked here in Oshkosh for 20 years and uh, it's been a great pleasure to serve our members uh, and make sure that the Air Venture Convention uh, goes off without a hitch in the Warbirds area. Uh, my interest in aviation began as a little boy uh, watching TV shows and uh, going out to the local airport and uh, watching airplanes come and go. But my big motivation for the Warbirds was a, a PBY Catalina that was operating in our hometown. Um, I would see that fly overhead and hop on the bicycle right out to the airport and every once in a while the pilots uh, and crew would let me come on board and sit in the cockpit and uh, that was really my Warbirds motivation. I'm a private pilot, uh, flying mostly most of my time in a Cessna 172. I'm not fortunate enough to have a Warbird, but eh, maybe someday. So as ex Executive Director of EAA Warbirds of America, I'm based in Oshkosh, Wisconsin at the EAA headquarters, and uh, we represent 8,000 members worldwide and provide a variety of services, which includes uh, producing the Warbirds magazine, uh, we have a merchandise line, we've got uh, technical support for our members, whether it be uh, sourcing parts or sourcing uh, uh, mechanical type things. Uh, we also serve as a government liaison with the FAA, uh, providing uh, advocacy for our members in Washington, D.C. One of our main events uh, every year is EAA Air Venture Oshkosh. That's a convention for our members where 200,000 of our best uh, friends, our members, uh, come and join and uh, reunite every year in July. Um, it's a fantastic opportunity for people to share their experiences with aviation. Uh, they can attend educational forums. They can go shopping at the fly market. Uh, they can participate in the daily air show. Uh, within the Warbirds community, we've got about 400 aircraft every year that uh, show up. That includes fighters, bombers, transports, liaison aircraft, jets, uh, the whole gamut, the uh, Red Stars, and uh, the list goes on and on. So it's, uh, it's a fantastic time of year. We have uh, 600 volunteers that help support the Warbirds area, and they, they work different jobs, anything from security, flight line operations, they do aircraft judging, um, security, merchandise sales, food service, and uh, we have a tram tour that uh, we provide guided tram tours for our guests. Uh, we also have a flight simulator building where we have five Redbird flight simulators that uh, kids can come in and uh, be inspired to learn more about aviation and actually try and fly a Mustang or a Corsair. So uh, all in all, the convention is, uh, again, a great opportunity for people to be immersed in all things Warbird Aviation. One of my favorite things about Air Venture is uh, not only the aircraft that come together, but the people. Our founder, Paul Poberesnio, has said, uh, you know, it's the aircraft that bring people together, but it's really the interpersonal relationships that make Air Venture special. Um, in the Warbirds area, we've got uh, pilots come in and they participate in the air show or if they don't fly in the air show they put their aircraft on static display and they're there educating the public uh, preserving the uh, the history and the memories of our veterans and service personnel um, they really uh, for the younger generation it's important for them to to hear those stories learn about uh, all the sacrifices that were made by our veterans um, the pilots do a great job doing that. Um, this year in particular, I have to mention that there's been an abundance of quality restorations at the level I've never seen in my 20 years. We've got two Messerschmitt 109s. We have a Sikorsky helicopter that's never been here before. Uh, a series of P-51 Mustangs that are fresh out of the restoration shop. We've got L birds that uh, people have painstakingly restored, and you know everything from from the little guy all the way up to the big guy. You know, 
culminating, I guess, in the, the B-29 Superfortress. So um, I've never seen such quality aircraft all in one place. There's close to 400 Warbirds registered this year, making it a banner year. And our hope is that we can ins inspire the youth, inspire people to appreciate history and uh, grow participation in aviation. Looking ahead to the future, uh, things look bright. Um, we're very excited about uh, the participation this year and looking ahead, uh, we are already planning for next year, uh, making arrangements for special aircraft to attend. And uh, within the Warbird community, things seem to be uh, going very well. Um, we host an annual National Warbird Operator Conference coming up in February. We'll gather with our owner operators and, and discuss uh, topics of interest. And here in Oshkosh, uh, we're looking at uh, constantly buildings and grounds and improvements that we can provide services and things uh, for our members that will make their visit here more comfortable, uh, more educational, and again, to help in inspire people to uh, grow participation in aviation. It's been a fantastic year this year. I can't say enough about our volunteers and our pilots that have uh, stepped up in these times, uh, kind of tough economic times, but they came here and they supported the event and uh, we're very thankful for that. If you'd like more information about EAA Warbirds of America, please visit our website at www.warbirds-eaa.org. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.